Hello everyone, my name is Serious Gamer, and welcome back to another 1 to 5 scale Japanese Battleship uh, Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the Japanese Battleship IJN Fuso. Alright, so, as always, this is my design for the Fuso. Um, so, if you use her at all, there are plenty of signs everywhere, put my name on at least one of them, uh, just give me credit, but yeah, with that out of the way, um, little background for her, Fuso, classical name for Japan, was the lead ship of two Fuso class dreadnought battleship built for the Imperial Japanese Navy. Launched in 1914 and commissioned in 1915, she initially patrolled off the coast of China, playing no part in World War I. In 1923, she assisted survivors of the Great Kanto Earthquake. Fuso was modernized in 1930 and 1935, and again in 1937 and 1941, with improvements to her armor and propulsion machinery, and a rebuilt superstructure in the pagoda mast style. With only 14 inch, 356mm guns, she was outclassed by other Japanese battleships at the beginning of World War II and played auxiliary roles for most of the war. Fuso was part of Vice Admiral uh, Shoji Nishimura's southern force at the Battle of Leyte Gulf. She was sunk in the early hours of the 25th of October 1944 by torpedoes and naval gunfire during the Battle of Sergo Strait. Some reports claim Fuso broke in half and that both halves remained afloat and burning for an hour. But according to survivors' accounts, the ship sank after 40 minutes of flooding. Of the, of the few dozen crewmen who escaped, only 10 survived to return to Japan. So... Not a... She didn't really do much, but she's pretty cool looking overall and pretty memed upon due to her really tall superstructure. And then again, it was actually rather small compared to, for example, Nagato's, which is a, is a block shorter, but has more bulk. Same with Congo. But yeah. Without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial, I guess. Alright. So, to start off, what you want to do is get a red nether brick top slab. And behind it, you want one, two, three, four, five, and six nether wart blocks, and then two red nether wart, no, two red nether brick top slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one nether wart blocks with one, two, three red nether brick top slabs, and then you want one, two, three end rods with a smooth sandstone slab. Go in the middle, you want one, two, three, four, five, and six. Another wart blocks, and then a red nether brick slab, and then skip space, and then crimson trap going on the side. And we'll go to this uh, red nether brick slab. Place smooth sandstone slab next to it. One, two, three, four end rods. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Red nether brick top slabs. 
And then, once you copy that to the other side, you should have something that looks like this. Alright. Now that'll do it for layer 1. Move on to layer 2. Alright, moving on from layer 1, moving on to layer 2. You want a nether work block on top of the previous slab. And a red nether brick wall on the front of it. You want one, two, three behind it. One, two, one, two, three behind it, yes. And then go diagonal, you want diagonal, you want one, two, three, nether work blocks, you want one, red nether brick top slab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 3. And other word blocks, and then 1, 2, and 3. And then the brick top slabs on the inside. 1, 2, 3, 4. With 1, 2, 3. I'm oh, sorry. One, two, three. Red nether brick slabs. With crimson trap door. Make sure the um, make sure the lines face the back. All right, and we'll go between one, two, nether wood blocks. A forward facing upside down nether brick stair, and then two red nether brick top slabs. Alright, and then once you copy that over, that'll do it for layers 1 and 2. Everything from this layer on will be above the water if you are building her in 1 to 1 or a waterline model. Whatever you want to do. Alright. Alright, moving on to layer 3, you want to go to the front and on top of the nether wall block, you want a stone block and then an anisite wall on top of the red nether brick wall and then two stone blocks behind these previous go to again, you want one, two, three stone stair to the side of the third one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. We're still staring back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Stone on the inside and then diagonal. You should have one stone block hanging off the back. Now, on the final layer out, final row out, I should say, you want on the fourth, fourth stone block, one, two, three, nine, you want one, one, skip a space two, skip a space three, skip a space four, skip a space five, skip a space six, skip a space seven, skip a space eight, skip a space nine. And take your polish box and button and place it in all the in-betweens. <coughs> I'm sorry. There you go. And then we'll go to the back. And you can just fill this whole layer in. Alright. So you got one, two, three, four. Um spruce pressure plates. I'm gonna remove the uh, second one. And then on the other side, you just want the last two. And then in the center, you want one, two, 
three spruce wood planks. Moving on to the last layer of the hull, um, you want a forward facing upside down stair on top of this wall, and behind it you want two stone blocks with a skeleton skull on the first, stone slab on the second, and one, one, two, three, four, Five, six, stone. One, two, three, four, five polished black stone buttons, and then a stone stair with an end rod on the front of it, and then stone slab, a stair, slab, stair. Slab, stair, slab, stair, full block, stair, slab, st stair, slab, stair, full block. And then a wall and like your stained glass panel. One, two, three stone blocks behind, and a set wall, like our stained glass panel, two stone in the middle, and a set wall in the back. Go behind all the slabs and place full blocks, and then place end rods on the stairs. Apologies. I want to take oak wood planks and just fill in the rest of the back. Does it pretty much does it for the hull? If you want to build the wreck, I advise doing all of this upside down with only up, only up to a maximum of the second layer of the superstructure. But anyway, moving on to the rest of the fourth layer you know, a button on either side of this wall and a redstone repeater on either side of the glass panels Facing upside down stone brick and back facing. Pulse box and button to either side of the second one. And then two birch fence gates. Redstone pier on either side of the hull on the first fence gate. And then block some buttons on either side of the second. Alright. Alright. And then go to these two stone, one two stone. Alright. And a polished inside slab. And then two iron trap doors. A redstone repeater on this side. End rod, two end rods in the back. Then 
cover the rest of the uh, step down with these oak pressure plates. You want to go to the very front? You want one, two end rods, and then a lever flips towards them. With skeleton skull facing forward, a pressure plate on our side, rest on repeater on either side. The hull <laughs> two buttons in the middle with a pressure plates either side. And then we set the stupid structure here. Um two Backwards facing birch fence gates. Rest and repeater to either side of the second one. A push plate to either side of the first. And then. Um, another gun. And then on uh, either side for the exposed hull, you want to fill in on the deck. All right, and then one, two, three, four, and a wall. Go to the first uh, stone block, like your stained glass panel. Two. Two anti-set walls, full block, and a light gray stained glass panel. Do that to the other side. Alright, and then let's turn Peter to either side of the first. Um, walls on our side of the hull, and then pressure plates fill in the deck on the other side of the superstructure. Alright, and then skeleton skulls on either side of the deck. Two birch fence gates in the middle facing back with another gun. With um, skeleton skull on the other side of the hull on the, to the back stair, and then fill the rest of this down in with oak pressure plates and an anisette wall. Smooth forward slab to either side. Center. Polish down set stairs on either side, and then the smooth court slab on either side of the uh, hull. Fill in the oak, the uh, yeah, fill in the oak pressure plates. And then you want stone in the center, and set wall to either side, and and set wall in the center. Pressure plates fill in hull and 
another gun. side of the gun barrels and then you want a full block in the center and then the wall to the sides and front and then another gun Just like that. Alright, go back to the front. You want another gun design on the front of the base of the superstructure. And then for defense kit, for the front of it. Post inside slabs. Don't install them on the side on top of the walls. And then full block. And then inside the wall to the other side. And then a uh, a stair upside down stair in the center. With an end rod on the side of the thing on top of the um, glass panels, redstone repeater on top of this gun, <coughs> and so on top of this inset wall, stone bricks uh, full block. On the side, you want birch fence gate open inward. And then one open forward. And back, right, and then place another western repeater on the, on this gun right here. And then full block on top of the previous full block. Stone stair. On the other side. And then a wall on top of the previous wall. And then rest and repeater on top of the gun right there. Set slab on top of the polish set block. You want a full block stone stairs on a side, and then you want to place birch signs on the front and side of these. Stairs. Alright. And then full block with hand set walls on the side and then a birch fence gate on the back of it. of the previous one and birch fence gate facing forward and if we just want to finish this center section off we will polish the inside slab and then just one two end rods on top of these um 
fence gates. Now we're just going to finish up the back too. You want in the center a full stone block with item frame on the front, skeleton skull on the side stairs, and then a stair on upside down back facing stair in the back. And then a skeleton skull on top of this stair. And then an end rod on either side of it. And then in front you want one, two, three, four, and five. On the fourth end rods up, you want end rod to either side. And that finishes the back. Now finishing up the bow. You want forward facing stair with a skeleton skull on it. Birch fence gate open inward on our side and then on the back. So one in the center, birch fence gate to either side, tall standard side slab, skeleton skull to either side of the slab. Alright, and go back again. Um another stair. Birch sign. trap door on either side of the stair on top of the fence gates and then on the back an end rod in the center tra iron trap door behind it and then skeleton skulls on a slight angle on these fence posts Alright, and then you want another stair. Wait, actually, you want an end rod on the sides of these. Um, iron trap doors. Just like that. Go. I want to place another stone stair on top of the previous with an item frame on the front of it. And then a sign on either side of it. And set a wall behind the stair. End rods on either side, and a skeleton skull on top of the stair with an end rod to either side, and another end side wall on top of the previous one. All right. Then you want to get out buttons and a. Structure void slash give at s structure underscore void.
Alright, let me just wait. Take a structure void. Go to this bottom. And the site. Uh, wall, you want one. And diagonal, you want one. Two. Three. Four. With. Four. Polish blocks and buttons. On either side. And on this end rod, bottom end rod, you want one, two. And then go up, you want one, two, three. You want the end rods on, you want buttons on top of the structure void in the front, and then three on the bottom, so you get that slight angle. Alright, and then you go to this top wall, you want one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then move up, one, two, three, four, five, and six, you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons, and then one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom, just like that. And then one, two, three, four, five on the bottom. And that does it. Alright, and that does it for my design of the Japanese battleship IJN Fuso. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and comment down below what you thought of, uh, thought of this. If you would like to make a request, uh, there's a link in the description to the Discord server. I take requests there. Um... If you like this tutorial, I suggest hitting the subscribe button, as there will be many more uh, tutorials to come that I'm sure you all will enjoy. But, um, without further ado, my name is Furious Gamer, building the IJN Fuso. I, have you, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, I, I know I have. And, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.